Okay. Let me show you um, my kinetic camera. A lot of the screen anyway. Let me just turn it okay. All right, so this is this is kinetic cam app. And I made this as an extension to the other better cam app that I made before. I made that in C sharp, but then I wanted to make a Linux program. So I chose Python. Because it's uh, pretty robust and it has a graphical system. Anyway, there's a lot of phonetic characters in the uh, Unicode map. So I um, yeah, that's working. Uh, I made a 64 by 64 button grid, and that still wasn't enough. You can see this is just basic IPA, and there's 64 characters. And then uh, let's go to the next partition. And then there's another one, two, three, uh, times eight is 24, so I can see something like 8, 29 characters. And probably even more. Um, I have five different lists here. This is the IPA list. And then, then I have the space modifier list, and that's got a bunch, an extra more than 64. And I have the uh, Unicode Phonetics Supplemental list. See that that one's blank, that doesn't mean anything. When you click on a button, it pastes it into there, and it also pastes it into the pasting system. The pasting system in this program uh, uses the WX clipboard, which so that. Um, it should integrate with Linux, and if it doesn't, if the pasting doesn't work um, through the WX system on Python, then I have it defaulting to the native pasting system for the clipboard for whichever OS, which would be Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Mac OS has a, a two part menu, the pasteboard, then there's it's got PD copy and PD paste. <coughs> anyway, so when you click on a button, it pastes it into the window. You can also type into the window. And when you hit the space key, it is the same as the button click on the on the uh, on the buttons. The uh, navigation bit buttons work. This this is how I'm going to fix this. See, I see that it's moving moving rows. Interesting. Well, I'll fix that. That's an offline one, will be one there. Um, so you can just paste them in. And you can see there are modifier tones. And there's not so many of them. I don't really know what they do. I think they have to do with whether the tone goes up, whether it's fricatives or glossal, or fossils, and things like that. Some of these are superscript characters, and that's just the way they are. One of these characters, some of these colored characters have an, an odd uh, not on this one. Uh, let's see, which one is it? Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Now, I don't have all the other characters that I need, but that's, uh, I have a better care map for that. Now, if you need it, if you do not use a mouse, you can hit the shift key and shift space will actually put a space in there. And um, you can just copy and paste that into a word bus or something. It's actually quite small. About twenty K. And as you can see in here, this is Python. I'm using UTF-8 encoding. And then the end. That one changed. And then, it needs to import 
you see the Python means that you need, you need OS, platform, string, time, you should all have one. UTS, PHP, keys and ring, which are provided, and WX. And WX.live.buttons, which comes with WX Python. Or WX Windows, or WX Mac. It's all the same. And uh, if it can't import the Win32 COM client, the Win32 clipboard, then you're probably not on Windows and you probably don't have WX Python installed. So running a Python program won't work. So if that doesn't work, it tries to import clipboard from GTK, um, which is a requirement of WX Python. It also tries to import subprocess, which I believe is from Mac. And the rest of the rest of these things are all um, just a Python class. And, and I included a um, class called Ring. What was that? Hmm. Trying to type it in here. Go ahead and set microphone in. Okay, let me bring test. This is a ring, which is a rotating list. In other words, if you had a numbers like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, you can rotate them, and it will rotate the list. It's a rotating list. And there's different things you can do with it. You can add and subtract things from the list, and sort them, sort them in place, and move them from the list. It's a ring. And what, and what I was going to show you was. Um, And then UTs is a little command line program, uh, which shows you all the Unicode keys for each letter key. So if I type H, you get all the all the things that I program under H. If you type G, lowercase G, you get lowercase G. And if you type uppercase G, you get uppercase G. And those are letters that you can get. That's for the better can act program. That's what you get. And I just made a little make file because I like it. Now I gotta figure out how to put capture in the screen. And I think it is by going here and hitting control P. No? Control S? No? Control P. Shift P? Control P? Control S.